Hello, David Ronaldman here. This video is supposed to be a review of Toontrack's Easy Bass. We're gonna talk about it, but then I realized that Easy Bass without Easy Drummer and Easy Keys isn't really complete. I think these three apps from Toontrack really make the, the only apps you need to write music. And so we're gonna use all three together. I'm just gonna show you my process. We're gonna write a song together using these tools. Maybe you'll learn something. Maybe you'll discover something new. Regardless, I love these, these three apps together and we're just gonna get right into it. We're gonna use Logic Pro 10 here. I have a very simple project with nothing on there besides four tracks. These are my standard workflow. On the top, I have my drums. It's a MIDI track on which I assigned the Easy Drummer instrument. And then we have Easy Bass, the new Easy Bass, which we'll get into, and then Easy Keys. And then I have a fourth track, which is my, my guitar track, if I want to add guitars or whatever it is. That's an audio track. All right, what should we start with? We can start with whatever. We're going to start with Easy Keys. You can start with any of the instruments, but that's what I feel like doing right now. I'm going to open it up. And uh, this is what it looks like. Now, one thing you should know about the easy apps from Toontracks is that, in my opinion, they really are, are prone to exploration. That's what I love about them so much. Yes, I could read the manual. I don't like doing that because they, it's cool to discover things as, as you go with these. And they do it really well. All right, so we have our library of instruments. You can add on to that. I have a grand piano here, which I can play on my MIDI keyboard. It sounds fantastic, just as a MIDI instrument. And then we can get into some settings just by kind of exploring, oh, what does this do? Dynamics, huh? Oh, I can change the dynamics here, that's great. Okay, let's close this up. And then here, oh, something else, the tuning. See, it's very prone to exploration. And the pedals, do they do anything? Oh yeah, they do. Oh, that's cool. A sustain pedal. You can click on stuff and discover things and, and make them your own, which is what I love. We'll talk about the rest of the interface in just a second, but the, your library basically will give you the different instruments. We're gonna go with the Dream Machine, which is my, my current favorite one. And again, click on this, Dynamics. You can just kind of make it your own. Here are the pedals and stuff. Within each instrument, you have different presets. Actually, I actually have a bunch of presets. It'll really change your sound. So I got this one. Beautiful electric piano. The Dreamweaver, which is my, one of my favorites. A lot of different presets. You can create your own by changing the settings. And then save it and so forth. We're just gonna go with um, just a basic electric piano. And then we're gonna start writing something. So I could write from scratch. I could just set my, my track to record and just record something. But I'm not a piano player, so we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go into the browser. This is gonna be a recurring thing with uh, pretty much all easy instruments with the bass and the drums. We'll, we'll find some similarities. But in the browser, I can go through my libraries. I have different MIDI libraries installed here, classified into different genres and, and styles and stuff. So let's go into the pop rock, see what we have. We've got some verse type of progressions. That's kind of cool. Um, Again, the more libraries you will install, the more choices you will have, and um, they all sound really, really good. Let's change the, let's change the, the preset here. Let's use that. So I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna drag and drop this onto my uh, song builder and just use that. Now notice that, okay, I have my MIDI here and the chords. I can click on this and change the chords. So if I don't want a D minor here, I can change it. F minor, maybe D major. You do whatever you want. Um, I'm gonna keep it at, um, 
maybe the original one. So I'm gonna reset that to where it was before, D minor. Okay, so we have this, great. So we have our first track. It lines up with my sequencer. Here's the playhead and it plays right here too. Okay, so we're gonna loop this section right here. And then we're gonna add, um, I don't know, let's add some drums. So easy drummer, same exact type of thing. We have different uh, presets. Right now I'm in an electric kit. I was just having fun earlier. Um, same thing, you can go into the browser or you can do a search thing. So I'm gonna open the tap to find here and we're gonna find a beat that really fits our, our keyboard. Super easy to do. I'm gonna click on the tap to find. And then because I already have a, a keyboard track, I'm just gonna play that at the same time. And I'm just gonna tap on. Maybe we'll add uh, a snare somewhere. Something like that, right? So I want my groove to kind of fit that. So I'm gonna click on show results here. And this is gonna show me uh, all the results within the different criteria that I set that kind of match that. And you see this one will match at 83%. So maybe that's a good beat. I don't know, we'll, we'll just try this one. See what that sounds like. Great. So if I like this, I can drag this onto my song builder right here or directly on my sequencer. I'll just do it that way. Let's extend this section. Great. Let's take a look at Easy Bass. Here it is, Easy Bass comes with two basses, the modern bass, which I have loaded right now and a vintage bass also right here. I'm gonna keep it on the vintage. Of course you have uh, different presets. Right now I'm gonna clean DI. Um, let's do a mid, mid scoop. Seventies rock amp. I think hard rock type of thing. Um, what's the vintage effects? Yeah, I can hear some, uh, some Jacko on there. Let's just keep it on the clean DI right now. Okay, what are we gonna do this with this? Well, we want the bass to follow what's going on with the, the keyboard. So, here's what we're gonna do. Very easy to do. On the left side, we have Easy Key opened with the MIDI track that we created with the different chords here. And then on the right side, we have Easy Bass. We're gonna switch this to Drums and Keys. And I'm just gonna drag and drop this MIDI track over to Easy Bass. And now we have uh, our bass line generated, basically. We have two options. It could follow the left hand or it could follow the rhythm and the chord. So basically everything that's played on, on the Easy Key part. I'm gonna choose uh, the left hand. You can preview this here. And then drag and drop this onto the timeline. And let's hear what we have now. Sounds pretty fantastic, I think. So easy to put together. Now you might say, well, yeah, that's just using loops. That's not being super creative. That's all right, let's go the creative route. Check this out. So I'm gonna first remove everything that we have done so that we can start from scratch. I'm gonna remove this from the easy key side. We'll open up easy drummer. Remove everything. Remove these. And we're starting from scratch now. Three instruments loaded up here. On the drum side, I'm gonna go with a vintage set. This one right here. On the keys, I'm gonna go with uh, an MK7 Basic. This is what it sounds like. 
And for the base, let's switch that to a modern base. And we'll keep it on the clean DI. Okay, let's start with uh, the drums this time. I'm gonna go into my browser. I'm just gonna browse through these. How about we create something um, kind of fusion-y? Got some fusion grooves here. Maybe something straight, a verse. I like this. Let's drag this onto our, our song builder. Maybe we'll have uh, two of those. I kind of like this. Now check this out. We're gonna drag this right here. And this will give you suggestions as grooves that will work with this. So here's the source file. This is the one that we selected. And from there, it told me that all these other parts are kind of compatible with that. So we've got the intro here. Got different intros to choose from, but all these are gonna kind of work with, with the other parts. And then here on the left, we have some song structures. Um, we're going to go with uh, an A, B, A, B short song. Very easy. And I'm going to drag and drop this right here. So this will build my song with the different elements that we had here. So we're starting with a, a short intro here, a verse, a chorus, a verse, a chorus, a bridge, a chorus, a chorus, and then an ending. Picked from these right there. Great. So that's going to be our song, our, our timeline right here. And then I'm going to add some keys. So I'm actually going to play these keys this time to, to create something a little more interesting. I'm not a keyboard player, but that's okay because I know that if I stick to black notes for the most part, these chords are going to work. And also, I'm really going to follow the groove. That's going to be the most important thing to, to create something kind of coherent. So I looped the, the verse part. I'm gonna double click on this verse part that we have in the song here. I'm gonna work on that. And I'm really gonna focus on the kick this time. See what's going on with the kick there. I'm trying to remember that uh, pattern. Da, ba, 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 okay. Da. Okay, that's what it is. Da, ba, ba. Yeah, so I'm gonna to try to follow this, and my left hand is gonna do the, that, uh, that rhythm thing. Wish me luck, pay attention to my left hand, which is gonna follow the kick. I'm gonna quantize this. I'm gonna select what I just recorded here, and then I'm gonna quantize here. Let's see what we have. First couple I missed. Yeah, see I missed that one. That's okay, we can fix that. Ba, ba. This one's a little late in the game, so. Yeah, this one should be moved right here. Yeah. We just have a verse here. At this point, I would probably continue doing the same exact process for the rest, but we're gonna generate a bass track with what I just recorded. So you know the process now. On easy bass, I'm gonna go into the drums and keys. And before we drag and drop the MIDI here to generate the bass line, I wanna show you something here. I have easy keys opened. I'm gonna set it to record and I'm gonna hit play and it's gonna record what I actually recorded with my, my DAW here. And check this out. Once it's recorded, I've got my chords here. My chords are entered. And that's great because if I want, I could change that A flat, that happens to be an A flat, to, I don't know, a G minor? Maybe, or D minor, or E minor, whatever I want. I'm gonna keep it to A flat, but I just wanted to show you. On easy bass, we'll switch to drums and keys. I'm gonna drag and drop this MIDI file right here. And we have two possibilities. We have the a left hand line, which is just gonna follow what I played with my left hand, which if you remember was also following the kick, or something a little fuller following the left hand and the right hand, which in this case, that's what I'm gonna do. I think this is gonna sound great. So I'm gonna drag and drop this generated line onto my song builder. And let's see what we have.
I think that sounds awesome. So one more thing I want to show you with Easy Bass. I reset my track so nothing's going on. We're going to start with uh, Easy Keys before I can show you this feature of Easy Bass. So I'm going to open up Easy Keys. We're going to use a piano this time. I'm going to go into the browser and we're going to sim start with some very simple uh, chord progressions. Maybe a straight 4-4 four, four verse. Let's see what this is. Uh, just, just chords. That's great. So we'll use this. I'm going to drag and drop this onto the song builder. We have our list of chords here. And we're going to try to find a, a bass line that will fit this. First things first, we're going to generate a bass line. I'm going to go into my drums and keys. New, you know the process. I'm going to drag and drop this right here. And we're going to follow the left hand. Here are my chords. We now have a matching bass line as far as the chords go with the actual keyboard. Now pay attention to what's going on on the bass side. This bass line is made of three elements. On the top we have a verse, then we have the chords that, by the way, we can change by double clicking on this and we have our, our wheel that we can change. And then here on the bottom we have the groove. Now the groove can be changed completely. For that we're going to go into the groove section right here. And we can just pick a type of groove that we want. There, there's different filters, blues, boogie, 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 yeah, boogie, disco, funk. Let's check out the funk stuff. And uh, maybe we'll go with a, a slap line and then we can just listen. This is gonna be a static chord. It's not following the chords of, uh, of, our, of our song. This is just the groove. Just select something that you kind of like. Okay, I kind of like this. I'm going to take this and I'm going to drag it, not right here, because if I drag it right here, I would have the chords of the particular groove, the song parts, the MIDI. No, I just want the groove part, so I'm just going to gra grab the groove of this. It's going to still respect the chords that I have. Now this is what we have. I don't like this. I'll change the groove to this. works. Great. Now let's add a, a drum part just to finish it off. I'll go into maybe the, the funk straight verse. Try this. Drag and drop here. That's just touching the surface of, of what these apps can do together. They, they really do work together. It's almost like having a band at your command. And you can be as hands-off or hands-on as you want. There's so many uses. You can use it as a, a simple software instrument. It sounds great, but also as a, a, a tool to compose. And like you saw, I was very involved in the creation process. This is just helping me find new ideas and, and create something. So that's where this shines. I'm gonna leave some links below if you'd like to check these out. I think there's some great deals right now going on at Sweetwater, depending on when you're watching this video. Anyways, regardless of where you get it, I would highly suggest that you get these three Easy Drummer apps. They work so well together, any styles, there's so many add-ons to them. Check them out, I love this. Most of the backing tracks that you hear on the channel were made with Tune Tracks, Easy Drummer. This is not a paid review. I really love those. I hope you'll like this. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions on those, leave them below. I'd love to answer them. Okay, go make some music. And if you want to continue watching some videos, you should watch this one. Whatever that is, it's good. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Actually, it's not good at all. You should click it. It's really not good. Check it out. See how bad it is. <laughs> Thanks for watching this. I'll see you next time.